The Toronto Blue Jays back in Buffalo for another week of Major League Baseball tonight. More people got a chance to go to Salem Field than were allowed for the first set of games. About 5,800 fans were allowed two weeks ago. This week that has been bumped up to more than 7,100 and capacity will shoot up from there starting June 24th. More than 13,000 people will be allowed into the ballpark. One of the 7,100 people at the park tonight is a diehard Yankee fan, almost 100 years old and a World War II veteran. New at 11, Jeff Rusak speaks to him and his family about why it meant so much for him to be at that game. A baseball team, like an old glove, it's handed down from generation to generation. The fandom of one of the most, if not the most storied team stretches to every corner of this country and beyond. The New York Yankees, while some in the city of Buffalo root, root, root for their temporary home team in the Toronto Blue Jays, the fandom that was most likely handed to them is a team from the Bronx. So when June 15th showed the Yankees coming to town, thousands put on their pinstripes and packed Salem Field. The generational love for a baseball team was on display with a gentleman named Paul Catalano. The nearly 100-year-old World War II vet is a Yankee fan. At Tuesday's game, he watched with his family, including his grandson. I never dreamed that I would be able to come here and see the Yankees. I had seen the Yankees before in Toronto a long time ago and in New York, but never in Buffalo. But the Blue Jays are the ones who secured his ticket. So as a polite guest, he is willing to make a one-time exception for the home team. And the Yankees have always been our number one team. However, tonight, because I'm a guest of the Toronto Blue Jays, I don't care who wins, I'm still a winner. The New York Yankees in Buffalo with fans. Strange, but amazing for thousands of families who cheer them on here in Western New York. Jeffrey Sachs, 7 Eyewitness News. What a great moment for he and his family. Well, even though seating is still relatively limited, you still have plenty of chances to get tickets. The Yankees in town through Thursday. Plenty of tickets are available. At this point, you're going to have to hit the secondary market, though, if you want to go for the rest of the games this week. But there are still plenty of tickets on StubHub. The Yankees, a big draw, so you're going to have to pay more than 100 bucks per ticket. And if you get a ticket for a fully vaccinated section, you're going to have to show proof of vaccination.